My name is Susie Lefanyu and I'm an naturopathic integrative wellness clinic. I thought I'd make this really short clip just to explain to you what methylation is, why it's important and what the MTHFR gene has to do with methylation. So essentially methylation is an incredibly important biochemical pathway in the body. It's important for neurotransmitter production, so if there's any sort of mood imbalance, it could be that methylation is an issue. It's important for hormone imbalance. If your hormones feel like they're not happy and they're a little bit all over the place, it could be that there's a methylation problem. It's important for keeping the cardiovascular system nice and healthy and keeping something that's called homocysteine low. Which homocysteine is often associated with, or elevated homocysteine is associated with increased cardiovascular disease risk. It's important for the immune function, it's important for detoxification, it's important for the DNA production and keeping it nice and healthy. So the MTHFR gene is incredibly important for folate activation. And we all know that we should eat lots of green vegetables. Well, folate's really high in green vegetables. So what's the actual pathway? Well, I'll draw up a very simplified version of what the pathway is, um, remembering that this is a simplified version. The methylation pathway is incredibly complex. It's not just one real cycle, like I'm going to explain it here. So basically how it works is it's like a, a cycle. And so your body will absorb a nutrient called methionine from the diet. Methionine goes on down to make what's called SAMI. Now, SAMI is an incredibly important compound in the body. It's a potent methyl donor. So this N here means that it can donate methyl groups to, to lots of other compounds in the body to allow those other processes that I said to happen efficiently. When you do a bit of research around um, you know, uh, things that you could supplement with for mood disorders, often SAMI is something that comes up. So if you're feeling that you need SAMI or you're, you know, you've heard of SAMI before, I wouldn't recommend just going supplementing with SAMI. If there's suspicion that it's low, it could be that this pathway is it's not working efficiently. So SAMI then goes on down to make what's called homocysteine. And so homocysteine is something that will often get checked in cardiovascular function, but it's an important marker for methylation as a whole. Homocysteine then goes up to produce, or I should say, yeah, it, gets, it goes up to produce methionine, but the key step in between this is B12 and folate. So eating your foliage, eating your, um, your foliage for your folate, your meats for your B12, and that pathway will just kind of keep on spinning and keep on spinning. Where the MTHFR gene slots into this is here. So it's an enzyme that activates those nutrients. And so if somebody has what's called an MTHFR gene mutation, it could mean that this fundamental step is compromised. So there's two different types of MTHFR uh, gene mutations or SNPs or polymorphisms. There's lots of different ways of, of um, saying that the gene is possibly affected. One is homozygous, and that means that the person's inherited the gene mutation from two parents. And then there's heterozygous, which means that you've um, inherited the gene mutation from one parent. So if it's homozygous, it generally means that that pathway is more compromised than as opposed to it being heterozygous. So if the gene mutation is there, it can indicate that it's, there's a bit of a bottleneck. And so often you'll see this homocysteine is elevated in, in blood testing. So when we're looking at how the methylation pathway works, you would usually get SAMI checked, SAR checked, homocysteine, B12, folate, uh, of course the MTHFR gene, and then another compound called histamine, because that often gives an indicator of whether the person is what's called an under or an overmethylator. So if you suspect that there is a problem with methylation, so you've got uh, mood issues, cardiovascular dysfunction, hormone imbalance, I'd really encourage you to contact us at Integrated Wellness Clinic and we're able to help you identify whether you're an over and under methylator and essentially what we can actually do about it because there are beautiful nutrients that you can take safely and dietary changes that you can make such as increasing your antioxidants and vitamin C and folate to allow this pathway to work efficiently.